<laughs> I'm excited as per usual because I'm drinking hot sauce, but I've also got something super exciting to show you guys. Drum roll. Christmas has come early. I was sent a brand new camera. Not only just a camera, an Insta360, a 360 camera. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've been filming on a GoPro 7 Silver for the entire time my channel's existed, and, uh, and I haven't been able to afford a new camera. It was a huge blessing to receive this thing. There's so many different mounts, angles, kind of shots I can get, and it's really, really high quality. Look at this thing, it's like a, looks, <clears throat> I'm still coughing on hot sauce. Looks so futuristic, eh? It's about the size of my finger. What I wanna do today is pretty fun. I'm gonna run you through the different ways I can mount the Insta360, and then you guys can tell me in the comments which mounts were your favorite, and which ones you'd like to see the most in future and upcoming videos, because I wanna give you guys more of what you like. Mount number one, probably the most legendary mount that Insta360 offers. It's an extendable pole mount, so hopefully that shows up okay on the camera. So it basically screws on, it's got threads, so it threads on. This is an invisible selfie stick. Um, I was so stoked when I checked out the view with this. I was going pretty crazy. I couldn't quite believe how cool it was when everything was in 360, but this thing's telescopic, so I can fit this right in my pocket. These kind of poles are always easier for snowboarders to carry around than skiers, because with skiers, you gotta worry about your actual ski pole. But this thing's long. It's about four feet long, four foot long pole, and it's completely invisible. So it extends and it films 360. So basically you can hold it any direction you want, any way you want, over your head, straight out, sideways, behind you like this, straight up, it doesn't matter. That's what's so cool about a 360 camera. And it makes this entire stick invisible. This one's really useful if you're filming in follow cam like this, like if you're following people in a follow cam. Um, the issue uh, with this is uh, it's hard to do like a selfie stick because it doesn't curve up, but uh, but don't worry, they were, they were thinking about that. You're not gonna film in 360 all the time. It can't really be your complete daily driver because 360 video uh, takes up a lot of storage. I'm talking gigabytes per minute, like it is crazy, uh, but it's filming everything. In the snow bundle, you get this nice pull mount um, I make so many makeshift pole mounts, so this is seems like one of the more sturdy ones that I've had. I find a lot of these tend to get frigid and uh, and break in the cold, but for a skier, having a pole mount like this is uh, is ideal, right? You can stick it on your pole, and then you can film that selfie shot. If you want to film kind of classical, 150 degree shots, and not have to keep pulling out that invisible pole all the time, this is a great option kind of if you're flipping around um, from pole to pole. Right out of the gate, this thing's stabilization is awesome. If you watch all the stuff I film on my, my original GoPro without stabilization, it's, it's pretty shaky. This thing is super stable, so when you're filming in 150, you're gonna get a much more stable shot all the time while you're skiing and riding, so that's huge. Now let's look at some of the more interesting mounts. So this is the regular helmet mount style. So it's taller than a GoPro, it's got some more height. Um, the weight feels not really too much different anyway, it still feels kind of still feels solid and easy to have on my on my noggin cool thing is with this mount you're still getting that classical forward view and you're getting also the reverse view if you're in 360 so this is a regular helmet mount works on all your normal gopro mounts they're super sweet if you got gopro mounts already you just pop it on your gopro mount bob's your uncle you're good to go so this is the regular head mount but it gets more interesting trust me people it gets more interesting check it out people i'm a baby walrus baby walrus baby walrus baby walrus this is the second mount it's like the extended head mount this gives you a cool view when you're skiing I'm, I'm pretty stoked to try this when we get some powder it shows like your face and shows your body it makes you look like super long and skinny while you're skiing so it's kind of like a it, it's a funny looking mount like you can see like I look super weird with this thing on it's pretty pretty ridiculous but it takes a pretty cool and a pretty unique view while you're riding of your whole body down to your skis and your legs and still gets kind of the sky and it gets all your arms so it would be a pretty cool shot for powder and i think pretty cool for carving and lastly we're going to finish strong with the unicorn mount the most ridiculous mount known to man hello i am james earth planetary alien number five 
This one's ridiculous. I look like a Martian. This is called the unicorn mount. It's uh, it's pretty wild. Like it's just a long kind of skinny stick. I've seen people put these things out of their backpacks. It's hard for this to stay on my head. I'm going to be honest. This is one of the weirdest mounts I've ever seen, but I'm sure it gets a super cool, pretty full on immersive view of, of your skiing. Almost like a drones above you. It puts a lot of weight on your head. So I'm not gonna, I, I didn't want to ski with it too long, but it actually it holds a lot of weight down on my goggles and on my face. So I had to get this thing off my head and put one of the more uh, normal mounts back on. The snow bundle came with the chest strap too. Chest strap on, Insta360 on. I'm gonna show you guys that, it's pretty straightforward. Goes over your shoulders, looks like a bra strap. Um, I think it looks dorky, but it gets really good shots, especially when you're carving. Um, it really shows your skis and the angle of your edges. So, uh, so chest strap's always a, a good one. That's all there is to it, guys. I had loads of fun testing out all these mounts with you. You guys, the viewers, are the reason that I'm doing this. And I really want you know you to be part of the decision making process as I grow this channel and I start using like more methods of filming and become a better filmer in general. So let me know which mounts you like best, which mounts I should use more. Um, and, and maybe if you guys have one of these 360 cams, shoot me a comment or shoot me a message. Let me know some techniques that are cool for skiing or for other sports. Like I'm pretty excited to use this thing um, in the summer as well. Let me know in the comments which field of view, which mount, which style was your favorite. I'm pretty stoked and I think that this Insta360 is gonna up my game at least in terms of like camera quality. Maybe this was helpful if you're planning on buying one. If you're interested in buying an Insta360, check out the link below. I get a small commission from it and that little bit of commission helps me keep this channel going and focus on making videos and what I do best. If you're not planning on buying one, maybe you found it interesting just to see what I'm using or what I'm trying to use in general or maybe you just found it amusing because these mounts are super, super dorky and I'm using to watch somebody ski with. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate all your support, comments, appreciate that you like the videos and appreciate that you're sharing it with friends and saying hi to me on the mountain and whatnot. I was driving down the highway, some boys were waving to me from their van this morning. I was like, hey, what's up? Kind of fun. Get out to the mountain, have some fun, find some fresh snow and keep on shredding. I'll see you guys next time.